So I just wanted to follow on from the uh, the earlier video, previous video about uh, DSV basics. Have a quick look at uh, polypeptides and polynucleotides. So I've um, opened up uh, a new molecule window. Go to macromolecules, top left, and just put the first few together: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to small molecules to edit it. Um, mm -hmm. To lose those hydrogens. Turn in a little bit. This is where clean geometry becomes important. Selecting that now. So that's um, applied the uh, the lowest energy configuration to the uh, to the molecule. Very easy to uh, to identify anything. The characteristics of the molecule here. Let's just zoom out a bit. So we've got. Let's have a look there. There are the bases. You can identify them very quickly just by making them invisible. Protein groups are very useful. You can uh, spot hydrophilic groups, take them out. Um, basic groups, acidic groups, and um, just very useful. Put them back in. And there's more information here at the bottom of the screen. Amino acid chain, atoms, so they all are. The hybridization is useful there. Um, bond lengths are very useful as well, they're all there listed. So, a uh, very useful little piece of uh, information there. I'm um, going to move on to uh, polynucleotides. Close. Oh, just had a thought. If I um, look at thing about clean geometry, Put the hydrogens back on. I'm thinking about what would happen if um, I methylated that sulfur on the cysteine. Um, go to table, turn it to a carbon. Okay, it's increased the bond length. It's not showing the hydrogen, so hide and then open again. There they are. Hmm. So that's obviously going to be very tricky. It looks way too close. Let's uh, try clean geometry again, see what happens. Big change. That's the value of uh, clean geometry. OK, close that down. No. Have a quick look, very quick look at uh, polynucleotides. Macromolecules. Nucleic acid, A, C, G, T, A, C, G, T. Back to small molecules. Let's hide all the hydrogens. It automatically uh, selects the companion, the corresponding uh, base. So adenine will will link up, will it'll uh, add a thymine, etc. That's spectacular, isn't it? You have the hierarchy window again to the left. Very useful. Identify everything you need there. Okay. And similarly, at the bottom of the screen, more information there. If you're really flash, you might lose marks for this. <laughs> right click on the screen. Top right, there's a little film strip there, you can see that. Okay. It takes a screenshot. And it's showing top left now. So let's zoom in a little bit. Take another shot, right click, 
top left. Another screenshot. Um, but rotating it. And zooming in a bit more. Another screenshot. And one more for luck. Let's zoom back out again. Right click. Oh, I was thinking about it. There we go. So we've got four scenes up there. Go back to one and press play. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Probably lose marks of being flash, but it's good fun anyway, isn't it? Um, you can edit that to little animation. Yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do to slow it down or speed it up faster the speed. Just one more thing I want to do with this. That's a nice configuration, there we go. No matter how often I see this uh, iconic image, I can't fail to be impressed with it. Isn't that marvellous? Happy modelling! <laughs>